Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm not far from the M25 and A3 intersection, uh, the southern section near Cobham. Just over there is Plains, Plains Hill Park, which I went to recently, I'll link that video below. Now, there's no guarantee in this video I'm even gonna find what I'm looking for. Some very interesting uh, historical uh, nuggets. And then we've got lunch booked in uh, at a pub down the road which I'll hang on to because it's a famous lo movie location uh, in the pub. It's a lovely little, I've never been, this is, um, I can't remember what common this is, but you can hear the traffic in the background of the A3 and the M25 and a plane over, over the, overhead. A bit overcast today I'm afraid, but what can you do? Let's go. Right, I've come to a little crossroads. I've got a little mini map on me that I took off the website for the common. But I think we're going that way um, on this sand path. Great Heathland here, great Heathland. Um, and uh, we want to get down to some woods nearby to see if we can find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Sand is very difficult to walk on, even if I had my walking boots on, which I've not bothered putting on. Um, yes, yeah, you can't really get some grip and get a memento going. But uh, I'm quite a fast walker anyway, so it's a bit frustrating. Oh, a little bit of rain came down. First things first, protect the camera. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit of rain coming down. Uh, I'm still not quite sure where I'm heading. I know I'm in the woods and what I'm looking for is in the woods. Um, we'll have to see. I'm using good old Google Maps. It's pissing down with rain again. I didn't forecast lots of rain, just a tiny bit. Sorry about it, it's all breaks in filming while I keep the camera dry. Oh, it's really sweaty as well. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't help. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. Well, if the rain doesn't stop, this is going to be a very short video. It's just relentless, and it didn't say it was going to downpour like this. So I'm a little disappointed. I mean, we've got to have rain, of course we have. Especially on a uh, heathen like this, but yeah. From a filmmaking perspective, rain is something that filmmakers hate, along with wind. Please excuse the uh, wet hair, couldn't be helped. Raining, it's starting to pass a little bit now, but I've got absolutely soaked, even though I had that on my head. So we've got here in the end, though, this is the Samuelson Mausoleum, built in 1919 for Sir Henry Samuelson, for his father, Sir Bernard Samuelson, and their family. Lovely little tucked away in the woods just by uh, the estate, Hatchford's estate, I think they used to live. Yeah, it's a lovely little gem. It's really sad though to see graffiti on the walls. Really sad. This is somebody's memorial. Come on, have shown some respect. Yeah, it's a lovely little, um, lovely little gem uh, as you walk into the into the forest. I was going to show you the semaphore tower, 
but that'd be for another day um, because it's still raining and it's horrible. So I'm gonna take you to a pub lunch with a very interesting movie history. Let's go. Well, I look like a drowned rat. Can't be helped. But it's terrible when you're when you're videoing yourself. Um, just as I'm walking down the track back to the car, it just startled me. There was a deer just in the pathway, about 15 foot away, just staring at me. And I just gradually, very slowly, wanted to get my camera out the bag, and it galloped off. That would have been a lovely shot. Just standing there, just staring. It's a gorgeous creature. Ah, oh, so as I said, we're going to go down the, the road to the Black Swan. So it's Ockham Common we've been on, Ockham Common, and we will come back to the Semaphore Tower. Bizarrely enough, I'm here on a Monday, and they had an open day literally over the weekend, which I didn't even know about until Sunday night. That's really interesting, Semaphore Tower, one of the very uh, last surviving Semaphore Towers uh, from the Napoleonic era. Um, so now I think they let out to stay in, like a little B&B, &B, or uh, an Airbnb, probably quite expensive. Um, but yeah, rain has stopped now, which is good. Um, yeah, a bit annoyed about that, but it can't be helped, it's rain, isn't it, you know. So, uh, let's go. So we're in Ockham at the Black Swan. Never been here before, but I'm here for a reason. Apart from a nice pub lunch. Ockham's very interesting. Uh, William of Ockham was a medieval philosopher. And you may have heard the phrase Ockham's razor, which he originated. It's a, a, a philosophy which I'm not even gonna go into because I don't quite understand it because I'm not bright enough. I think I'm bright, but I'm not bright enough to understand the philosophy behind Ockham's razor. If someone wants to explain it to me, thank you. Um, but other than that, yeah, so William Rockham was uh, born here. We did go to the church down the road uh, a couple of years ago. I'll link that below. And, uh, yeah, a bit early, but pub lunch. So this pub, the Black Swan, which the staff do know all about, was the interior location of the slaughtered lamb in an American werewolf in London. The exterior was a cottage in Wales next to the church, but the interiors were shot here in uh, the Black Swan. There was a false wall put up. Uh, the Pentagon was over there. I'm actually sitting where the two travellers, David and uh, Griffin Dunn, uh, were seated, right next to the door that they go out with. And Brian Glover and Rick Mayle, very young Rick Mayle, is one of his first jobs sitting over there. So yeah, it's a famous movie location and a very popular pub. There's a bar, that one over there. You can't just let them leave. You want the world to know our business. So the, uh, the, the wall would have been about here with the uh, pentacle, pentangle uh, star, which I have on my arm. Um, yeah, would have been there. So I'm sitting where the two uh, lads sit. You made me miss. Oh, what a lovely meal in the Black Swan. Really nice pub. Uh, I thoroughly recommend that. I had a sirloin steak and it was delicious, really juicy. And of course, location for American Werewolf in London, with double for the slaughtered lamb. It's interesting with Rick Mail, actually, Rick Mail's in that scene, and I, I work backstage uh, in a theatre in South London. We had a couple of tours of uh, The New Statesman, and Rick Mail obviously was in The New Statesman. And I don't get starstruck, I'm not being arrogant, I don't get starstruck, I've been in the business 
too many years, 25, 27 years. But you have moments of people you admire. And Rick Mowell is one of those people I admired. And he's a really nice guy. Totally eccentric, but a really nice guy. But yeah, that was really good. I'm sorry about the rain. I'm so, I'm, we, got, we found the mausoleum. All's good in the world. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video for what it is. <laughs> and um, please like, subscribe, all that usual stuff we do on YouTube. Black Swan, please come here. It's really nice. And um, until next time, when it won't be raining, we'll see ya. Take care.